Hello my friends, welcome back to beautiful day and I'm in my favourite spot. Isn't that just so stunning? So beautiful. A little like back patio thing where I'm sitting right now doesn't really get a lot of light. In the morning it gets literally none. So that's why sometimes I sit on my front driveway and read and drink my coffee in the morning so that I can get the morning sun. But at about 12 o'clock it hits our backyard and our back patio. So I'll usually try and come out here and read for a bit, maybe eat my lunch out here if I can. Because sitting in the sun is just the best feeling in the world to me. It's Sunday today. I've been having a very chill day. Very, very chill. But I just started reading We'll Always Have Summer, which is the third book in the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy. And I read both of the previous books, like the first and the second book in the trilogy, in the last 24 hours. There is something addicting in these books. To me, they're incredible, like I love them. I've heard so many mixed reviews about them. I know some people hate the books but love the show, some people hate the show but love the books. Some people love both, some people like neither. I haven't watched the show, but I freaking love these books. Am I saying that every single part of these books is perfect? No, but they just have such a nostalgic feeling to them that I just can't help but like devour them. They're just so good. I. I also am not passionate about which team I'm on, whether I'm on team Conrad or team Jeremiah. Like I literally don't care. I kind of like them both, but I don't love <laughs> the idea of a girl going for two different brothers. That seems like it would cause a lot of family drama. But anyway, I feel like I thought this was gonna be such, like this series was gonna be such a sappy, cringy, teenage love story but I feel like it has so much more to it. Like there are so many layers to it. Maybe this sounds dumb. I feel like I would have thought very differently if I'd read this at like 15. I think if I'd read this at like 14, 15, 16, I would have just been like, oh, such a cute romance. But reading this as an adult, I feel like I see the characters very differently. I first of all love how flawed every single character is. Like there isn't a perfect character. They all have bad character traits. They all respond to things like differently and none of them really respond perfectly. There's so much talk about family dynamics, about grief, about friendship, unhealthy friendships, healthy friendships, first loves, first crushes. I feel like the family dynamics in this book is one of my favorite parts because I love seeing how the kids kind of view their parents, but I also kind of love of reading how the parents respond because I feel like as an adult you can kind of see why they're responding in certain ways even though the kids in the book might not be happy about the way that the parents are responding if that makes sense. Not that I'm a parent but I feel like you, you just see it differently whereas I feel like if I'd read this at like 15 or 16 I would have just thought the parents were really annoying. I don't think the author has written this but I would love a book series about the mums. I think that would be so good about Bailey's mom and Beck. I would love to see all of their summers together and like them falling in love for the first time and like just like their story because I feel like you get to see hints of them but you don't quite get their story which I, I just really would have loved to see. Anyway, I'm totally rambling now. I've talked for way too long. Like I said, it's Sunday today, having a chill day. We've got church this afternoon. I'm just wearing a little sweatsuit. I should probably make some lunch and maybe have a coffee but I honestly just want to sit here and binge this. I got a package from White Fox. Let me show you what I got. Can't lie. I've been literally living in my White Fox loungewear all winter. Are we surprised? Probably not. I have quite a few now and I just have them on constant rotation because they're literally just the comfiest thing ever. I'm obsessed with them. I pretty much always get my jumpers in a small slash medium and then I always get my sweatpants in like actually a small or an extra small, kind of depends. And I've also been living in my slippers. They look like grandpa slippers, but I love them. Anyway. My code is RachXO if you guys want to save a little bit of money on your own order. They have express worldwide shipping and they also have afterpay available for Australian, New Zealand and US customers. Speaking of loungewear, we'll start with that. We have this brown set. I actually have this in like a slate grey kind of colour and I love it. I feel like it's just really flattering. So we have this crew neck called the Own the Moment sweater and this colour is called Chocolate. It's this beautiful rich brown and of course the matching sweatpants called the Not an Issue sweatpants and I got these ones in an extra small. I may have got my mum and I coordinating. Not quite matching, but like 
coordinating loungewear sets. So the set that I got for myself is this green t-shirt with the embroidered white fox on it called Take the Focus Tea, small medium. The color is forest green. I think it's such a beautiful color. And then I got some shorts because I do love my sweatpants, but it's not gonna be cold forever. And especially in Brisbane, I'm sure it will probably start warming up in the next like, okay, maybe we've got like a month left of cold weather and then it'll probably be getting warm again. These are called the Check It Out Lounge Shorts an extra small and they match with the logo. And then I also got the matching hoodie that I could wear over that. I feel like I've said this before, but I have just been a hoodie girl recently. I have been choosing to wear hoodies over crewnecks most of the time. I just feel like they're so cozy. And again, this one just matches the other pieces that I showed you. And this is called the set, the standard hoodie in a small medium. And my mom is always complimenting me and my outfits. And whenever I get new clothes, she always makes jokes saying like, oh, does that come in my size? And so I thought it would be fun. She doesn't know this yet, but I thought it'd be fun to get her a little matching sweatsuit and we could be matching. So this is the one I picked out for her. It's also green. I just thought that would be so cozy. And then I got her the matching sweatpants, which obviously also green. And they have white fox written on the leg. I think she's gonna be so excited about this. These ones are called the Athletic Club Sweatpants. I'll have to record her reaction when I give these to her. Moving on, I actually picked up two purses. They both come in these little dust bags, which is so nice. I actually got the same purse in two different colors because I don't really have any nice bags. And I thought these would be such great staples to add to my wardrobe whenever I'm going out, going to an event, going to a wedding, going out for drinks, anything where I just want a little bit of a nicer bag. So this is what the bag looks like looks like. It's called the Milani mini bag and this is the white. So it does come with a longer strap but it also has its little handle. So I could definitely wear this like as a crossbody bag if I wanted to. But I just thought the shape was really beautiful. It's a really nice size. It's definitely not huge but this is kind of one of those bags that I would use if I was just going out for the night or something where I wouldn't need to be packing heaps of stuff. So we have this one. And then I got the exact same bag in pink, which I thought would be so fun to wear if I was wearing a plain white or a plain black outfit just to add a little bit of a pop of color. It literally reminds me of like a Polly Pocket accessory or like something that I would have had for my Barbies when I was a kid because the color is just so... <laughs> Barbie to me, but I love it. I think it's so cute. And this one does come with the longer strap as well. I just haven't attached it yet, but I just think this is so stinking cute. I also picked up some really great staples. So firstly, we have this little strapless white top, which has this stitching under the chest, which is just a really nice, simple detail. This is called the Watch This Space Crop, and I got it in a size small. Again, just such a staple. Then I picked up two of these t-shirts, one in a brown, which is so beautiful. I love this color just tight fitting but super like slinky and stretchy and i got both of these in a size small this is called the two blessed crop in mocha and this is the same one but in black again so perfect such a flattering shape i have a top like this from white fox very similar but it's a bit more cropped but i just wanted something that i'd be able to like tuck in to some jeans or something just to look a little bit more, I guess, classy. I think they have more colors in that one as well. And then I also picked up a long sleeve, which I wish I'd picked this up in more colors because the quality of this is beautiful. Like it is so nice. And I do love this color, but I also wish I'd picked it up in a black and white because this is just the perfect staple long sleeve to me. I love the material of this. It just feels so comfy and stretchy. This is called the It Takes Two Crop and I got a small and this is the color mocha as well but it's more of like a purpley mauvey kind of color like a purpley gray i guess like this t-shirt is also called mocha but you can see the color difference between the two i picked up this dress and i have no idea where i'm gonna wear it but it just looked like it would fit so well i feel like i need quite a nice event or place to wear this but is this not just so beautiful i mean okay it doesn't look <laughs> as nice as it will on the body i'm sure i feel like this is one of those things that if you just saw it like this you'd be like what is that? But hopefully on, it'll just look so nice. It has boning all up the top. Obviously it's strapless, has a zip down the side, and then all of the ruching on the skirt. So it's just a little mini dress, but I just think this will be so cute. Imagine that with my little white bag, some white heels, absolutely stunning. <laughs> okay guys, this would be very cute if it fit. 
but I can't get the zip up. So please size up on this one. This is my normal size and it's just not working. So please size up. I have been wanting a pair of leather pants for the longest time, but I was always just so unsure. I was like, is that really me? Like, can I really imagine myself wearing a pair of black leather pants? But there are just so many times where I'm looking for a really nice outfit to go out, but it's freezing and I just don't know what to wear. So I feel like in those situations, leather pants would be my best friend. They look so funny just holding them up. But these are the I'm the only one pants. And I got a size small, which is what I get in all of my pants from White Fox. And they're just pretty much like straight leg. But imagine these with like even the plain black t-shirt that I showed you and some like black strappy heels. Wouldn't that just be so cute? I'm so intrigued to see what I think. These ones are very, very shiny. And I'm interested to see if they like make noise <laughs> when I wear them. And then lastly, I picked up some bikinis because it is the middle of winter, but I'm already craving. I summer at the beach and I was looking through the swimwear and I was like this stuff is so cute so I was like you know what I'll just pick it up anyway because I know I'll get wear out of it when summer comes but yeah I just want summer to come right now <laughs> I'm so over winter I love wearing cozy sweat sets but there's just nothing better than lying on the beach in the sun reading a book listening to music going for an ocean dip getting fish and chips on the beach like watching the sunset it all sounds so good also reading the summer I turn pretty books have made me want to go have a summer at the beach so badly and the fact that I cannot is the exact reason why I don't read summery books in winter. Cause I just get sad <laughs> that I can't experience what they're experiencing. But let me show you the cute new bikinis that I picked up. I got this top, which I actually already have the matching bottoms to. I have this print in another bikini top and bikini bottoms, but I saw this style of top and I was like, that just looks really flattering, really cute. This is what the back looks like. And then obviously has the padding in it as well at the front, but you can wear this a few different ways. Um, I'm not gonna try these on for you guys because the internet is full of some creepy people, but I'll put some photos up on the screen of how the model was wearing it so you can see all the different like ways you can tie it and wear it but i just love how fun and colorful this pattern is like i said i already have another bikini style in this exact pattern but i just wanted another one because i think it's just so beautiful and then moving on to matching sets I got another one in the same style top that I just showed you. And I think I got all of these in a size small. So again, it just has the tie, which you can either wear like strapless or you can tie it in a bunch of different ways. And this is just a really cool, like, I don't know how you'd describe this pattern actually, but I just think it looks so cool. Super out of my comfort zone, actually, this kind of coloring and this print, but I just thought it was really beautiful. And then I did get the matching bottoms. Pretty much all bottoms from White Fox are super cheeky. So there are certain places where I would wear these and certain places where I wouldn't, but just keep that in mind. And then lastly, I just picked up a very simple white triangle bikini because I don't have a plain white bikini. And I just thought that would be such a great staple to have. So just your classic plain white bikini. This one also has like ribbing on it and then the bottoms I got for that top are these ones which are just plain white and they are also like this kind of thicker ruched material which doesn't exactly match the top but I feel like no one's gonna be like those don't match you know they're both white it'll look cute but yeah those are all the pieces that I picked up from White Fox recently like I said if you guys want to save some money you can use a code RAGEXO and I'll have all of these pieces all of my sizing everything like that linked in the description box below if you want the direct links but I need to go get ready for church because we have like just under an hour until we need to leave.
banana bread out. It looks like it's a little bit burnt. It's said to leave it in the oven for between 45 and 55 minutes, I think, or 55 and 65. Either way, I left it in for like the least amount that it said and it still came out a little bit black and confused, but I just tried a piece, obviously. I probably should have waited till it cooled down a little bit, but I just love some warm banana bread. I just got ready to go to the gym, got some pre-workout, as always, blue raspberry. I haven't been to the gym in a while, so I'm not looking forward to it, but it's gotta be done. Gotta get back into routine. Today, I honestly have been so productive. You guys saw I did a bit of computer work this morning. Monday's always pretty busy, but I woke up early, smashed it out, and now I can kind of get ahead with other work that I have for the rest of this week, so that's really good, but let's go to the gym. Just got out of the shower, put my tracksuit back on. But I just got a little PR package from, I'm hoping it's pronounced Puka. It's one of those ones where I've like seen it a million times. And I've been eyeing off their products for ages as well. So I can't believe they sent me a PR package, it's kind of exciting. But they sell tea and they sent me a few of their teas and I, love a cup of tea in the winter, especially like fruity teas, like raspberry tea or any sort of like blueberry, berry, anything is probably my favorite. But they sent me their nighttime tea, their nighttime berry tea, which sounds phenomenal and also a peace organic tea. So obviously the nighttime teas are supposed to help you sleep and like relax, I guess. And I'm not sure about this one. Oh, it's a hemp tea. They all smell incredible. I'm gonna add these to my tea collection. What a fun PR package. And also the box is just stunning. Like I almost want to keep this and put like a gift in it, but I'm like, is that weird if I gave someone a gift in this box? Probably, but it's just so pretty. If I'm being completely honest, I think this book was my least favorite out of them all. I feel like this book just didn't need to exist if people had just made smarter choices. It was all a bit dramatic, wasn't it? I still really enjoyed it, not gonna lie, but it just frustrated me. <laughs> I think we all know who she was gonna end up with, but I also think that I genuinely don't wanna be a part of any team. I'm not team Conrad, I'm not team Jeremiah. I honestly think Belly should have stayed single because they all just hurt each other so much. Anyway, I'll probably process this for the next two business days and then have a proper, proper review. But I'm kind of sad that I'm done with this world now. I really love the writing. I definitely want to read more of Jenny Han's books. I never read To All the Boys I've Loved before and I think I might have seen the movie back in the day, but I definitely didn't watch the second one or the third, is there a third one? I don't really know. I know there's three books, but I kind of want to read them now because I really, really, really liked this writing. It started raining today. And I feel like it hasn't rained in, well, actually no, apparently it rained while we were in, I think Sydney. It rained here, but it is a very dark, dreary, rainy day. I finished my work for the day and I also finished my book, which I already talked about. And like I said, still processing, but that does mean it's time to pick out a new book. I am like kind of reading a few others at the moment. I'm currently halfway through Ruin and Rising, which is the last book in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. It's just not hitting, not hitting the way I want it to. And I'm also like almost halfway through Legendborn, which I am enjoying, but I'm just like not in the mood to read fantasy right now. So I want to pick out a book with you guys. I really do feel like a contemporary romance. I feel like I don't want a summer romance because that is making me too sad that it's not summer here. So this would be a good option, but it's a summer romance and I will feel sad reading it. The X talk could be fun. I also have this on my TBR for this month. And I also have this on my TBR this month. Hmm, I'm pretty sure this is like childhood friends to lovers. It looks like second chance romance kind of vibe. This is also on my TBR for this month, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling that right now. I think I'm gonna save that for later in the month when I want just like a super quick, easy read because Coho is always quick. We could do something completely different and do like Bunny or My Dark Vanessa, which are like definitely not romance. I'm gonna pull both of these ones out. I'm gonna read the first like chapter or two of each one of them and see which one I'm vibing more. It's a few days later. I'm just ending off the vlog. Fun fact, I tried reading the fine print and more than words. Read a chapter or two of both 
decided I wasn't in the mood for either of them. So I started reading Throttled on my Kindle instead. So there's your little reading update. And really enjoying Throttled so far, but I'm only like 20% into it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Just a fun few days in my life. If you guys are reading a book at the moment, I would love to know what it is and if you're enjoying it because I'm always looking for new recommendations. So if you are reading something, leave me a comment and let me know what it is so we can talk about it in the comments. But I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.